Hello crafty friends, welcome to day number 10 of the Uniquely Creative Advent Calendar. So let's open up envelope number 10 and see what we've got. It is a lovely set of photopolymer stamps. I'm going to stamp these out so you can have a look at exactly how nice these images are. So I'll just grab a piece of paper or cardstock and I'm going to stamp them out in brown Catherine Pooler ink and it's called Icing on the Cake and I'm using a little mini. Brown's not a colour I use very often when stamping so I decided to only buy the little mini uh, ink block rather or ink pad rather than the full-sized ink pad and you can see here first image is stamped out very nicely nice and clear this is the first time i'm using any of the stamps haven't had to condition them at all and they are stamping out perfectly when i'm putting the ink on i'm being very careful not to press too hard because the ink pads are very juicy and if I press too hard I'll have too much ink and I'll get a thick a line on my images rather than a nice crisp sharp line and that's also important when you're going to stamp um, your image that when you press down you're not doing CPR on your stamps that you're pressing down with a light all over pressure. Now I'm going to stamp out for you the three sentiments that come in the stamp set as well as this cute little ladybug or lady beetle and the sentiments are going to say your on my mind and the best so you can use a ver um, variation of those sentiments so you can have you're the best you're on my mind or you can just have on my mind and then that cute little ladybug mushrooms are one of my most favorite things to color I love to color in using pencils but today I'm trying the technique of using the Catherine Pooler inks with a blender pen and I'm using flame at the moment and I'm just using the ink straight from the top of my ink pad lid and where I want my darkest shades I'm going to apply my blender pen first and then gradually it will lighten up as the color runs out of the blender pen then I'm taking a darker shade and I think it's peppermint scrub and I'm going around and just adding a little bit of shade or shadowing to my mushrooms. For the second mushroom I thought I would try adding my darkest shade first with the blender pen and then coming back and adding my lighter shade. I wanted to see if there was uh, much difference in um, applying the color uh, this way as compared to when I added the light color first and then put down the dark shadows. I also found with the paper that I'm using that if I use the blender pen in one place too much, the paper would start to pill. So I would move from one area, let it dry, and then I came back in with the flame ink and went back over top of the area that was a little bit too light. I've brought back in the icing on the cake Catherine Poulet mini ink pad and I'm using that to color in the stems of my mushrooms. And using the blender pen is a really fun way of getting more from your ink pads um, because it allows you to get uh, a greater variation of color. When you want to clean your blender pen you simply need a scratch piece of paper and you rub the nib until you've got all the color off the end of the blender pen. Now I've chosen stone blue from Catherine Pooler and I'm gonna shade in 
my other mushrooms. And you can see there, I'm going direct from the ink pad, probably something you're not supposed to do, but I often do it and I don't have any problems uh, with my ink pad or with the blend pen doing that. It just allows me to get a little bit more intense color onto my pen. On my blue mushrooms, I'm using the ink in Juniper Mist. It's that dark blue color that I'm applying now to my mushrooms. And I'm flicking up from the bottom edge of the mushroom cap and just flicking it up, getting some variation in uh, strokes as well as color and adding some shading down around the bottom there. And I'm then going to come back with a little bit of the uh, stone blue. I'm just putting some into my ink cap there. And I'm just going to go back over where it was a little bit pale. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to shade the stems of this mushroom with the eucalyptus ink. And then I've got Martini there and I'm going to colour the inside of the uh, mushroom caps. Um, you'll see when I finish that the Martini looks very close in colour to the eucalyptus. In hindsight or when I coloured these again and if I use the Martini colour, I think I will try to get a lighter um, variation in colour with the blender pen. So either rubbing it on the lid of the martini ink pad for a little bit longer so the colour uh, is less intense and then going direct to my paper so I've got a lighter shade for the underneath part of the mushroom cap. So here I am just grabbing that martini and adding that into the mushroom and um, trying to get a little bit of shading on there but it does come out quite strong the color quite strong and I probably should have stopped where I was before I come back in and added some darker ink back over top of the uh, martini that I'd already put down. Now to decorate my mushrooms I've got a cream colored Posca paint pen and I'm just adding dots over top. Now I decided that having these very regular shaped dots didn't look right so I'm coming back in with the paint pen and trying to make these irregular spotty shapes on the mushroom caps themselves and you can see there I'm just sort of putting a dot down and then giving it a little bit of a wiggle or adding a weird <laughs> dot next to it so that it's not uniform in shape. And I think that's much more pleasing to the eye than having perfect spots all over. And once I've done that, my mushrooms will be finished for now. Just going back over making sure I'm happy with the size, shape and uh, coverage of my paint pen there. And there's a close up for you. Well, I'm going to really enjoy using this stamp set in future projects and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what colors are in the next paper set so I can then shade all those pretty flowers from the stamp set as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Join me again tomorrow for envelope for day 11. And until then, bye for now.